The overall goal of this procedure is to separate the two main cell populations obtained from human muscle biopsy samples with a high efficiency and yield to allow the evaluation of specific phenotypic and transcription factor markers. This is achieved by first dissociating a human muscle biopsy sample into a single cell suspension. In the second step, after a seven-day culture, the cells are separated by immunomagnetic beads sorting into CD56 positive, which are myogenic cells, and CD56 negative fractions, which are the fibroblasts. The cells are then stained and imaged for the desired phenotypic and protein markers of interest. Ultimately, immunofluorescence microscopy and quantitative image analysis can be used to measure the intensity of selected nuclear localized transcription factors within the sorted cell populations. The main advantages of this technique, which uses immunomagnetic cell sorting over existing methods like fluorescence activated cell sorting, are that it is gentle allows excellent sorting of human primary muscle cells with a high yield and viability and can be performed quickly. The implications of this technique extend towards increasing our understanding of the cellular basis of the fibrofatty muscle degeneration observed in ageing as well as in a number of muscle pathologies. To isolate the muscle-derived precursor cells, as soon as possible after obtaining the biopsy, first determine the weight of the tissue sample, and then swell the muscle in basal medium several times to wash the sample clear of excess blood. Let the muscle sediment at room temperature.